We are here at the Edenville Dam. You can see the giant trencher sitting on the earthen embankment here. I'm really hoping to get out there on site uh, when this is operational, when they're actually putting down the soil cement bentonite mixture in laying this cutoff wall. You can see the Edenville Dam there in the background, the water flowing through the riprap. And this machine is just massive. Uh, you can see it's from DeWind. So looking at DeWind's website, you can kind of get a couple of the specs as to what the capability is of this trencher. I'll just list off a, a couple of the specs. It looks like that the capability is able to go down to 125 or more feet deep, trench width of 12 to 48 inch wide, a speed of 200 to 500 linear feet per day. And you know, some of the benefits here you can kind of see is in situ mixing complete homogenized wall from top to bottom. Uh, they're able to do a heavy high slump mix in place in secure bottom seal, so no voids or windows. So pretty impressive piece of machinery here. And the results are a superior wall with consistent mixing from top to bottom and no possibility of voids, which is especially important in a cutoff wall. So this was the choice instead of putting sheet pile cutoff wall, uh, they're using a soil cement bentonite uh, cutoff wall here. And you can kind of see uh, how the cement and bentonite looks like it comes into these containers at the top of the trencher, forms some sort of uh, a mix and then gets injected down into the bottom of the trench. I'm not sure what platform this is built on. If it's an excavator platform, it looks much larger than a normal excavator though. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's like I said, it looks like they took a little bit of the top of the earthen embankment, graded it nice and level. It's like they have some stakes right down the middle of where the cutoff wall is going to be placed. With them being able to lay this at 200 to 500 feet per day though, it will not take them very long by the looks of it to lay this down the entirety of the earthen embankment. We'll fly over to the Tobacco River Dam here at the end of the video as well. Um, this video isn't very long. Like I said, I'm hoping to get out there and actually film uh, this in operation, actually see maybe some of the controls that they use to monitor the performance of the machinery and how the cutoff wall is being laid. See the semis down here in the bottom right? I'm guessing maybe one contains the cement mixture and one contains the bentonite. Not entirely positive on that though, just kind of taking some guesses. And over here, it looks like they have an excavator staged. Uh, I'm not sure how deep they're going here as well. I know they can go up to 125 feet deep. Uh, the earthen embankment, I don't think is that deep though in uh, the glacial till or where we reach our hard pan here in Michigan is, is not that deep. They wouldn't have drove uh, the sheet pile down to 125 feet deep. They would have just drove it down into that clay hard pan. Um, so. Maybe when I get out there in sight, I'll be able to ask a couple more of those questions. Here's the earthen embankment though, M30 and M30 bridge here, and Tobacco River Dam coming into view here in the middle of the screen. So you can see on the, on the far side of the dam, looks like they took and graded that all nice and level as well, just like we see over here on the Edenville earthen embankment. So I'm guessing they're also going to be laying this SCB wall over here on this side after they complete uh, the Edenville side. See a couple pieces of equipment staged there in the background as well. Um, some of those rock trucks that I filmed in earlier videos that are actually able to turn 360 degrees. Looks like those are out here. And yeah, looks like they've uh, been doing quite a bit of work on, uh, every dam is being worked on right now. Uh, so. A lot of progress that we're seeing from all the contractors. They're doing a great job. And we are seeing a ton of progress here at the end of summer 2023. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. 
Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.